This is the day. This is the day the Lord made the Lord made. We made the dirt. We made the dirt in the garden. The garden. This is the day the Lord made. We made the dirt in the garden. This is the day. This is the day the Lord has made. Good morning. The last few weeks, we have been listening to stories about God's people in Egypt and how God sent Moses to help the people. And now they have left Egypt and they're wandering in the desert. And Moses needs help. Before I tell you today's story, I want you to raise your arms up high in the air and keep them up there for the entire time that I read a story. Today's story is Franklin Forgets. Franklin fed his goldfish every day and tidied his room once a week. He helped his parents rake leaves in the fall and shovel snow in the winter. Franklin liked doing chores. It made him feel very grown up. And one day, Franklin and his friends were putting the finishing touches on their go-kart. Mr. Mole stopped to admire their work. All you need is a horn, he said. Maybe I'll discover the perfect one on my travels. Are you going away? asked Franklin. Well, just for four days, answered Mr. Mole. First, I have to find someone to do my chores while I'm gone. I could do your chores, Mr. Mole, Franklin offered. Thank you, Franklin. But it's a big responsibility, and I think I need someone a little bit more grown up. Oh, but I am more grown up than I used to be, insisted Franklin, and I do lots of chores at home. Mr. Mole looked at Franklin thoughtfully. All right, he agreed. You've got the job. And Franklin smiled proudly. That afternoon, Franklin went to Mr. Mole's house to get his instructions. He had three things to remember. Collect the mail, fill the bird bath, and water the garden. And that's every day, Mr. Mole reminded him. And Franklin nodded. I won't forget. Early the next morning, Franklin collected Mr. Mole's mail and filled the bird bath. And he was about to water the garden when beaver and bear came along. Do you want to fly kites with us? They asked. Oh, I can't. I have to water the flowers. Can't you do that later, asked Beaver. Franklin thought for a minute. Okay, I'll do it this afternoon. And Franklin ran home to get his kites. It wasn't until supper time that Franklin remembered the garden. Oh, I'll water it first thing in the morning, he said. But then the next morning, he noticed the sky was dark and cloudy. Hmm, looks like the rain will water Mr. Mole's garden for me. But Franklin was wrong. The sky cleared up, the the sun shone bright and hot, and Franklin spent the day swimming. He didn't remember his chores until bedtime. I won't forget tomorrow, Franklin declared. Are you holding your hands up in the air? But in the morning, Franklin was too excited about his baseball game to even think of anything else. After winning, he and Beaver were so busy celebrating that Franklin forgot again. And then he saw his mother mailing a letter. Oh no, cried Franklin, my chores. And Franklin and Beaver rushed to Mr. Mole's. Franklin's heart sank when he saw Mr. Mole's yard. The bird bath was empty, the mailbox was full, and the flowers lay wilted on the hard, dry earth. Franklin collected the mail and filled the bird bath, but he didn't know what to do about the flowers. Maybe they'll perk up if you give them lots of water, suggested Beaver. Oh, good idea. I'll let the hose run all night, said Franklin. The next morning, Franklin and Beaver discovered that things had gone from bad to worse. The garden was flooded and the flowers were ruined and Franklin hurried to turn off the hose. What are you going to do, asked Beaver. Franklin thought hard. 
maybe I could plant paper flowers that I made at camp. They might look real. And so he rushed home to get his flowers. And he and Beaver planted them, row upon row, in the soggy ground. How does it look? asked Franklin. Uh, kind of like a bunch of flowers stuck in a mud pie. Franklin felt like crying. The garden looked terrible, and Mr. Mole was coming home that afternoon. Franklin couldn't stop thinking about the garden all morning, and after lunch, he waited anxiously by Mr. Mole's gate. Keep your hands raised. At last, Franklin saw Mr. Mole coming down the road. Franklin's tummy did flip-flop. Hello, Franklin, Mr. Mole said, and he reached into his bag and he pulled out a shiny new horn. I didn't forget, he said cheerfully. Oh, but I did, Franklin said in a shaky voice. I forgot to water your garden and now it's ruined. I'm so sorry. Oh, now, now, Franklin, said Mr. Mole. I'm sure things can't be that bad. And he opened the gate and he went into his backyard and he went, <gasps> Ooh. It's all my fault, Mr. Mole, Franklin said sadly. You were right. I'm not grown up. Well, the garden is a bit of a mess, said Mr. Mole, but it took a lot of courage to tell me the truth. And taking responsibility for a mistake is a very grown-up thing to do. If I help you plant new flowers, would that be a grown-up thing too? Franklin asked hopefully. And Mr. Mole smiled. It sure would, he said. Before long, Mr. Mole's garden was growing again. You know, Franklin, said Mr. Mole, with all your help, my garden looks better than ever. Well, Franklin replied, I do have two green thumbs. Did you keep your hands up in the air, your arms up in the air the whole time? If you did, you can bring them down now. Beaver helped Franklin. Franklin worked as a team with Mr. Mole. They all helped each other through a problem, through something that they couldn't do by themselves. And in our Bible reading today, this is what happens to Moses. He gets into a situation and a time when he needs help. Sometimes we can't do things by ourselves, but when we work as a team, we can do impossible things. And so when you're listening to the scripture reading today, listen for the part in the story that talks about Moses' arms up in the air and how high and how long he had to hold them there. And think about what it felt like for you holding your arms up in the air while I was reading the story even though it was just a small amount of time. It'll help you remember and think about what it felt like for Moses. Having a friend is great. Being a friend is even greater. Have a great week.